like the video. Don't forget to like the video. Like it now. What did I say? Like the video! <laughs> okay. So, after you like the video and subscribe for protection, I will be posting this on my YouTube. So, it should be on my YouTube. If you're watching this now, my cousin posted it on my YouTube. So, I'm probably on a live. Um, enjoy. It's the, this, we're, enjoy what we're going to play tonight. We're playing the... I can't even remember the name. <laughs> I'm so excited, but I'm so scared. Um, the Dark Reflection Ritual. <sighs> so, yeah, don't mind Mario. Half demon, half little boy that died in a unalived in a fire. So, basically, yeah. Thanks for liking the video, bestie. Tap the screen. Tap the screen. Tap the plus sign. Tap, 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 tap. Thank you. Mwah. So, thank you for subscribing, too. So, we're playing the Dark Reflection Ritual. This ritual is really, really dangerous, and it's only for entertainment purposes. It's not real for legal reasons. It's not real, so I would just suggest that you don't try this at home, or it's nothing It's nothing to harm anyone. It's just a creepy pasta game. <sighs> Getting into it, the Dark Reflection Ritual. For this ritual, we're going to need a mirror, of course. I made sure I got this mirror, because we're going to have to break the mirror. This ritual is extremely dangerous. We're also going to need a candle. And the steps that we're going to take. Haunted Mario will take a seat. The steps that we're going to take is very, very important. So we have to do everything like, thank you for the gift. Gotcha, gotcha life. Gotcha that life. We have to do everything. Thanks for the gift. We have to do everything like, you know, follow the rules. Okay, so let's get into it. What is the dark reflection ritual? The dark reflection ritual is a ritual that you use, of course, to gain an, en an enormous amount of good luck. This is the only reason why we're doing this ritual. If I win the game, I will, if, like, if I survive until sunset, like all of the bad luck that is going to be spurred out on me, I will definitely, definitely gain good luck by sunset. And this good luck could even turn me into a superstar. <laughs> I'm already a superstar. Make sure you like the video. You get <laughs> Okay, so, listen. The dark reflection ritual. Let's read about it, right? So, here's what you'll need for this ritual. A mirror. We have a candle over there. And it says friends to do it with, but it's optional, but highly suggested. Suggested. Um, they're warning you once you begin the ritual, there is no way to stop. Um, what I'm saying is don't start unless you're planning on finish it, finishing it, right? Okay, so basically, the dark reflection ritual. Have you ever broken a mirror by accident or on purpose? Nobody? Have you ever broken a mirror by accident or on purpose? Answer the question. Okay, so normally when this happened, um, have you ever looked into a mirror and felt like there was something watching you from the, from the other side? Looking in the mirror and just staring in the eyes, staring in your own eyes and just feel like it does feel wrong sometimes. Have you? Or have you ever seen something sinister lurking within your eyes while you're looking in the mirror, your own reflection? You've probably heard of the legend, breaking a mirror is seven, um, is seven years of bad luck. You normally hear the legend, you, you break a mirror, you get seven years of bad luck. Well, legends about mirrors have been around for hundreds of years. In particular, some ancient civil civilizations um, believe that there was a sort of um, purifying effect by looking in mirrors. Now it gets interesting here purifying effect so this is some type of cleansing ritual basically okay so you're getting rid of the bad luck listen purifying effect to mirrors they believe that by looking one's reflection in the eyes it would transfer a person's negative energy into the reflection in the mirror so basically they believe they believe that going to the mirror and just staring at your reflection in the eyes you're tra and focusing, you can transfer, you can cleanse yourself by transferring all that negative energy in the mirror, in your reflection. 
But this can be very dangerous if you're not highly trained. When I say trained, like, if you're not, if you don't do much research on mirrors, cleansing, and stuff like that. You get what I'm trying to say? Um, negative energy into the reflection of the mirror. So, they believe that this had cleansing effects, but also hidden dangers, right? That's why breaking a mirror has been known to cause bad luck. Think about it. If this is true, then every time you look into a mirror, you are transferring negative energy into it. Can you imagine how much negative energy is just sitting there inside your bathroom mirror? Imagine that. You can't imagine it, right? I think you can. Because a lot of times you get upset and you go to your bathroom mirror to cry and you stare at yourself. You're transferring the neg... You're transferring the negative energy in the mirror. Um... Okay. So for this ritual to work, we are going to need a mirror that you don't mind breaking. We got that. According to the manifesto, both the risk and the eventual reward for this ritual stronger depending on how old the mirror is. Ugh, it makes sense if you think about it. An older mirror has been looked into more than... Yeah, we'll just send a lot of negative energy in this new one. Negative energy inside of it. In order to begin the ritual, we have to look... Um, look our reflection in the eye. So we're gonna stare at our reflection. That's that's step one. We're gonna light the candle We're gonna stare at our reflection in the eyes right Look your reflection in the eyes that is going to transfer the negative energy into the mirror right One last time so yeah you only need to do this for a few seconds. So we're only going to do it for like maybe 30 seconds staring our reflection in the eye. Step two. Then you need to lean forward and breathe onto the mirror. Wait, that's some type of anointing. So we're going to anoint the mirror with our breath. Lean forward and anoint the mirror by blowing on the mirror. So after you do that, you have to fog up the mirror, it says. And breathe onto the mirror, making it fog up with your breath. Okay, refer to this as anointing. Yeah, so it is anointing. Meant something similar to the spirit by breathing on the mirror. You are symbolically linking yourself to the mirror and to the negative energy contained inside. This linking is creating yourself to the mirror and to the negative energy contained inside. This linking is creating. Don't worry, I stopped reading because it, it lagged for a minute because my battery is dying. Hold on. Okay. So. After the final step... It's break after all of that. The final step is breaking the mirror. We're gonna have to break the mirror once this step is done. I suggest you start running. Hold up, why? After this final step is breaking the mirror, once this step is done. I suggest you start running. You see, it's actually a common misconception that when a person breaks a mirror, you will be followed by bad luck. In other words, you will be followed by an entity that has manifested itself from your negative energy. Let's start. Okay, so we got the candle, we got the mirror, but let's do some protection first for my viewers, just in case. I have my protection set up all over the house. I know where to run, I know where to hide, and I have shields and wards all over me. So I'm fine, but you guys need some protection. So let's burn some lavender and let me put this, this um, bay leaf protection amulet over you, over the screen, so no negative energy shall pass through.
So first we're gonna burn lavender and draw some wards with the smoke, some sigils to make some powerful wards with the smoke. Thank you for the glasses. Give me a second. Oh. We're gonna make sure we charge this up too with some of my energy just before I put it up because I think it's... <sighs> the video of the dark reflection ritual will be on my YouTube as soon as the live is finished. If I don't make it, my cousin will definitely post it on there for me. She has her instructions. Hi, Ashley. Ashley, is she on? Hi, Tina. Hi, Princess Bean. Hi, Jai. Hi, Shizuzu. Is anybody else here? Where are the voodoo dolls? I want to shout out to the voodoo dolls. The Voodoo Dolls, I love you guys. I always see you guys' edits. I love your edits. They're so beautiful. Mwah. Shout out to my Voodoo Dolls, which are my fan pages. I love you guys. Okay, Voodoo Dolls, let's go. Let's go. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so let's go. Protection. I'm going to draw some sigils with the smoke. This is lavender incense. While I draw this sigil, I will be saying an incantation, which is a spell. Other words known, Christians call it a prayer. Spell, a prayer is the same thing. Let's cleanse ourselves. Close the screen. Defend that me, protect us me, defend that me. I mean, I just broke off the ugly part, but maybe, yeah. Okay, so I'm tying this over the phone. You guys will be protected. Don't worry. There we go. We have the mirror. We have the candle. Hold up. Okay. Let's go. It says that the light's gonna have to be turned off for this ritual, but we can keep the lights on until we actually start the ritual. Again, this is a dark reflection ritual. Make sure you like the video. Like the video, please, and subscribe. This is going to be on my YouTube, guys. That's why I'm talking like this. I'm live right now, YouTube.
So remember the instructions, right? <coughs> what? I don't claim the negative energy. There's no negative energy. I put protection. Um, let's go, daddy. What? I'm not your daddy. I love your TikToks. Thank you. Thank you so much. Please, I'm scared. Um, it says in my bio, if you're easily scared, it says do not join. Okay? In my bio says everything. My bio says, hi, this is a scary page for scary games, scary challenges. If you scare easily, do not follow and do not join the live. I love you. Hi, what's your YouTube? I love your TikTok account so much. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Makakalalawa. Love you. Love you too, besties. Okay. Oh my God, I'm scared. So this is a dark reflection ritual. We have this big old mirror. Like, look at this mirror, guys. We got to put a lot of bad luck in this mirror. Because if I win, that's good luck coming to me. Okay, you guys can hear me, right? I hate shouting. Yeah, okay. Alright. My hair just got done, so it's a little stiff. So it's a little stiff, but <clears throat> it'll warm up. I'm gonna wrap it down, lock it down tonight. Ladies, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so ugh, I'm gonna take out all of my negative energy in this mirror right now. We have the candle. I'm scared. It says the first step is to stare the reflection in the mirror. When we're finished with the ritual, we have to turn off all the lights as soon as we're finished. And I'm scared. Okay. I'm really scared. I'm kind of my heart. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, okay. Okay. Let's start. So. The live, live, the live, the live is lagging. The live is lagging. Oh. Okay, ghouls and ghoulettes, I'm going to call him because I'm scared. Ghouls and ghoulettes is my other personality. He's like a crypt keeper. He's been with me since I was in kindergarten. I used to see him physically, but now he just possesses me and comes when I call him. So I'm going to call ghouls and ghoulettes Lante. The Crypt Keeper. Say it with me, guys. Help me summon him. Ghouls and ghoulettes. 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 Say it with me. Ghouls and ghoulettes. 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 Welcome, ghouls and ghoulettes to another episode of Horror Fantasies. Of course, tonight Lante told y'all already that we're doing the Dark Reflection Ritual. Don't look too deep. <laughs> okay. The first step of the Dark Reflection Ritual is to look into the mirror and stare at our reflection in the eyes while we focus on all the bad things that have ever, ever happened to us so that negative energy, energy can be transferred into the mirror. <laughs> 30 seconds. Five. Something doesn't feel right. My reflection feels like it's staring back at me. Well, it is a reflection. Ugh. Is Lante still here? And now we blow on the mirror. Five. 
Fog it up. Fog it up. Fog it up. Does it look foggy, guys? <laughs> okay. Now it's time to break the mirror. Are you guys ready? As soon as it starts, we have to run. Lante's still here. You have to give me full control. But this is kind of scary. <laughs> Please. Maybe I have to do it off camera. Hold up. I need something. What do I use? This is scary. <laughs> Hold up. I have to do this off camera because I think it might be too dangerous to like take a mirror and break it like that. So I'm going to do it off camera so it doesn't violate any guidelines. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to break it. <laughs> the dark reflection ritual begins now! No, ghoul, this is scary. Oh, you idiot. <laughs> Give me full control. Guys. I don't want to do this. Maybe we should just play Bloody Mary. It's more easier. This is kind of scary. And Ghouls and Ghoulettes Monte has kind of been really... Really what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Guys. Guys, I think the ritual has started. Okay, I think it's gonna be okay. The lights were flickering after I smashed the mirror, but they stopped eventually. Now we have to run? Run where? Ugh, let's just walk around. Let me clean up this properly. Okay, this is scary. Okay, okay. I am scared out of my mind. What? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so... The ritual has begun. I've broken the mirror off camera. Ghouls and Ghoulettes Lante is gone. So now I believe we should walk. We should walk around the house just to. So the lights are flickering again. The light switch, the light switch is right there. Ah! Ah! Okay, I think the ritual has started. I have to clean this up properly just to make sure it's splinters. I, I don't. Okay. Okay, this is scary. This is scary. This is scary. Okay, guys. Um. No, we can't run. Just stay calm. Let me clean this up.
I have to make sure nothing is going to go on my feet, honey. Let me get a broom because if this doesn't clean up, ow! Something went in my feet. Something went in my feet. <sighs> ah! Ah! Hold on, guys. A lot of bad shit happening to me. So this is the light switch. I don't know what's going on. That's the candle. The candle is lit. As long as the candle is lit, we're fine. Let's just clean this up so we don't get any more. One minute. One minute. All right, I'm almost done. I'm just sweeping everything in one corner and then I'm going to pick it up. Sweeping it with this rag. All right, almost to make sure it's all sweeped up because I don't want my dog to come in here. All the splinter, I have to take the other piece out of my feet. Okay, let me go dump it now in the trash and go come back and sweep wipe one last time just to make sure it's clear. <gasps> what was that? One last wipe. Almost done, guys. Give me a second. All right. Okay, I'm all done. We can go walk around and make sure everything is okay. I saw a shadow figure pass in the kitchen, but we're protected, so we should be fine. to be careful. Hold up.
Okay, I think we need to go. Okay. Now we have to turn off the lights, quick, because we had it on too long. All right. Let's go in the room. So as long as we survive the day, everything will be fine until sunset. So we can chill, we can walk around. You know, everything's fine. There's no ghost in the closet. Yada, yada, yada. That's Batman, I think. There's no ghost in the kitchen. Please be no ghost in the kitchen. No ghost in the kitchen. Okay, guys. I'm now not scared. So the dark reflection ritual has to do with bad luck. I don't think entities, but it says... If you put too much bad luck, sometimes if that bad luck itself can manifest itself into an entity. <gasps> oh, it's just my shadow. Okay, everything seems fine. Merlin. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys, let's go. Why is the candle shorting? Okay. Nicki Minaj will keep us safe. Oh my God. This is so scary. What did you guys think about when I broke the mirror? Let's keep our eyes on the door because I'm scared and the club. Did you guys hear that? What did you guys think? Did you guys see anything happen besides from the, the light flickering? Yo, the wind is acting up really crazy right now. Did you guys... Ah! Shut the candle wax! Ow, ow, ow. Hold on. Okay. Ah! Bitch! I got so scared. It's just my shadow. Okay, so I have to, I have to survive until sunset, I guess. <gasps> Why am I so scared? I keep seeing my own shadow. <sighs> okay. What do you guys think about the challenge so far? The lights flickered, the lights flickered, and then a lot of bad shit started happening to me and I'm trying to ignore it and say, no, it's just coincidence, but it is coincidence. I mean, I did break the mirror, so there's going to be splinters, d dust stepping in the splinters, of course. I mean, I might have hit my head, the back of my head, but the gr I was losing balance because I was on the floor. I mean, I may have spilled candle wax on me, but, and I almost slipped. Okay, maybe I should just sit down. Do you guys see that in the corner of the closet? Hello? Do you guys see that? There's something hiding in the corner staring at me. Let's ignore it. Okay, let's walk around, guys. We have to walk around. There was a banging out here just now at the windows. I don't, oh! oh God, is that a reflection or? <laughs> it's just the curtain reflection, right? <laughs> Hold up. Shit. 
that's just a reflection, right, guys? Hello? The fuck? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hello? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hello? Oh my God. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, it moved. Is there a hack to end the ritual? I did my research, but I think, I don't think I can make it until sunset. I think the bad luck manifested into something. There was literally something like a shadow man and it can't be a person. Nobody can say that is fake. That is, it moved. What the fuck? There's no way for a body to be there and you not see. It was like it was in the wall, in the window. I'm gonna post this on my YouTube from the beginning and everything so we can analyze and see what the hell that was. Maybe I could do a spell, a mirror spell to reverse the dark reflection ritual. Okay. The ritual that was, no, um, Saifa Ino Kame. Saifa Ino Kame. Okay, the ritual that was done is now be the ritual that was set in motion is now being undone it will go to no 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 um the ritual that was set in motion is now be guys i don't think i have enough energy for this I'm sweating because it's hot and there's something in my fucking closet staring at me. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hello? Hello? No, 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 he's in there. I have to go in the bathroom. Okay. 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 Ah! Damn it. Why is the floor still wet? Oh, hold on guys, I'm okay. Oh, gosh, I forgot I wiped it earlier when he broke the freaking mirror. All right, okay. I'm fine, I'm fine. I just, um, I didn't fall, I just, my legs got split open and I think I hurt my toe, but I'm fine. Okay, Um, I think we should stay in the bathroom. Okay. Hey. Okay. Okay. So, we're playing the dark reflection ritual and everything is going bad. There's a figure in my living room. Um, I have to continue the game no matter what, but why are there two stuff? Why are there two figures? Apparently, I had too much negative energy stored inside of me. And I think because I summoned ghouls and ghoulettes, and he's literally the crypt keeper. He's made out of negative energy. His spirit may have opened a portal for some of his... I don't know what to call them to come true. I don't know what ghouls and ghoulettes Lante did or what is going on with this ritual, but I'm going to put an end to it. I'm going to do a spell to try and reverse everything. And if I do it and I go out there and everything is still there, I'm going to leave the apartment for the night and rent a hotel. 
and be totally careful because I have major bad luck right now. E no kane. No, was it ino kane, ino kamone? Ugh. Okay. Um, reverse the ritual that is currently in motion. The ritual. Ah! I can't focus. Are there any witches here? I think the bad luck is clouding my mind. I can't focus. I, I'm, I'm good at, I'm good at doing spells on the spot. For some reason, my mind is clouded. I need a reversal spell ASAP. Quick, witches. Oh, I'm a witch. Yes, we all know you're a witch, but now we need a reversal spell. Ugh. Oh, I'm a witch. I'm a witch. Oh, everybody wants to be pick me, the pick me girl. Obviously. Oh no. He's still here. Okay, guys. That's not me. Calm down. Everything is gonna be okay. We just need to focus. Okay, reverse the spell. Reverse the ritual that is in motion. Reverse the ritual that is in motion. Reverse the ritual that is in motion. Would it reverse in the ritual bring the mirror back to normal? Or would it just take that bad luck? What if we... I have a perfect idea! Yes! I knew my years of studying didn't fool me. Didn't, like, you know, not pay off or whatever. Okay, so I have the perfect idea. Think of it this way, witches and warlocks and ghouls and ghoulettes. The freaking bad luck, the whole ritual is basically summoning bad luck from breaking a mirror. What if we trap that bad luck back into the mirror? Think about it. Okay, so we've established that if, if the, the negative energy can be released out into the physical world, then it can go back and be trapped back into the mirror world. We need a spell and we need a mirror. The bathroom mirror. It's the only thing I could think of. I don't have any more walk-in mirrors. The best thing for us to do is to trap that negative energy which means we'll have to trap the manifestations of the negative energies that are already in the house taking refuge. I'll have to go out there, I'll lead them in, and after I lead them in, the mirror, the candle, and then I'll be like, spell, I'll use my energy to see if I can hold them, my wards, maybe draw a sigil in the top of the ceiling to keep them steady. They won't suspect it. Okay, hold up. I know just the sigil that is not really, you know, the devil's trap. No, that's too much. Plus, I can't reach the ceiling. We could use the devil's trap or we could use, ah, the amuno perpinado. To the sides of the wall one over here and then one to the other side it doesn't have to be in the ceiling and I can draw it with my energy okay so one is on this side and one is on this side does the negative energy coming in it'll be trapped it won't be able to move that's when we use everything we got to put it back into the mirror. Are you guys ready? What is... Ah! What the fuck? Did you guys see that? Did you guys see that? There was something in the mirror. There was something in the mirror. There is something in the mirror. I don't want to play this anymore. There was something in the mirror just now. Did you guys see it? Did you guys see it? It was so tall. I can't move. I don't know why, but I'm so scared. I can't move.
you. Oh.